Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Zoho Sheet. I'm going to cover a very quick, basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Zoho Sheet works. Zoho Sheet is a powerful spreadsheet software that can help you organize and analyze your data with ease. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the basics of using Zoho Sheet. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Otherwise, I will go ahead and jump right into the Zoho Sheet tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account, and if you already have an account, just skip this step. First, visit the Zoho website and click on the Get Started for Free button. Zoho offers several options for signing up, including using your email, Google, LinkedIn, or Office 365 account. Choose the option that works best for you and follow the prompts to complete the sign-up process. Once you have completed the sign-up process, you will be taken to the Zoho Products page. On the Zoho Products page, you will see all the different Zoho apps that are available. These apps are divided into categories such as Sales, Marketing, Customer Support, Finance, Email, and Collaboration. Since we are interested in using Zoho Sheet, we will focus on that particular software. To access Zoho Sheet, scroll down to the bottom of the page and under the Email and Collaboration category, you will find Zoho Sheet. Hover over the Sheet software and click on Try Now. This will take you to the Zoho Sheet landing page. Here, click on Access Zoho Sheet and you will be redirected to the Zoho Sheet software dashboard. And here we are in my Zoho Sheet account. First I'll show you what you can actually find in Zoho Sheet, and then I will show you how we can use Zoho Sheet. When you access Zoho Sheet, you will be taken to the dashboard, where you can start working on your spreadsheets. The dashboard is designed to be simple and user-friendly, with a clean interface that makes it easy to navigate. On the left side of the dashboard, you will see a sidebar that is divided into four sections. Product Switcher, Spreadsheets, Templates, and Trash. The product switcher is located at the top left corner of the dashboard. It allows you to switch between different Zoho products. This is particularly useful if you use multiple Zoho products in your work and you need to switch between them quickly. By clicking on the product switcher, you can access a drop-down menu that lists all of the Zoho products that you have access to. This includes tools like Writer, Show, and WorkDrive. Once you select a different product from the list, you will be redirected to that product's dashboard or workspace. This feature allows you to seamlessly switch between different Zoho products without having to log out and log in again. In addition to the product switcher, the Zoho Sheet dashboard has many other options located at the top right corner. The Upload feature allows you to upload spreadsheets from your computer or import them from cloud drives. Clicking on the Upload button gives you two options. Upload Spreadsheets and Import from Cloud Drives. If you choose Upload Spreadsheets, you can browse and upload a file from your computer. Zoho supports various file formats and you can upload a file up to 25 megabytes. Alternatively, if you click on Import from Cloud Drives, you can select the file you want to import from Google Drive, Box, OneDrive, or Dropbox. The new Spreadsheet button on the top left corner of the dashboard helps you create a new spreadsheet from scratch. So, to create a new spreadsheet in Zoho Sheet, click on Plus New Spreadsheet. This will generate a new blank spreadsheet for you to work on. Next, begin adding data to your spreadsheet by typing directly into cells or copying and pasting from other sources. Use the toolbar at the top of the screen to customize your spreadsheet. You can change font styles and sizes, add borders, change cell colors, and more. To add formulas or functions to your spreadsheet, select the cell where you want the calculation to appear and type the equals symbol, followed by the formula or function. This will automatically calculate the result for you. You can also add charts, graphs, and other visual elements to your spreadsheet using the Insert menu at the top of the screen. This is useful for creating visual representations of your data. Once you have finished customizing your spreadsheet, you can either share it with others through email or publish it. To share or publish a spreadsheet, click on the Share button in the top right corner of the screen. You will have two options, Share and Publish. To share the spreadsheet with others, click on Share and then enter the email addresses of the people you want to share it with. 
You can also set permissions to control who can view, edit, or comment on the spreadsheet. To publish your spreadsheet, click on the Publish button. Your spreadsheet will be published and anyone with the link can view it. Now, let's go back to the dashboard to explain the other sections. The Profile section, next to the New Spreadsheets button, allows you to manage your account and access the Zoho community, blogs, and webinars. You can also stay up to date with the latest features and updates by checking the What's New section. The Workplace Apps feature lets you search for Zoho apps within the Zoho Workplace app. This feature helps you discover new apps that can help you manage your work more efficiently. Furthermore, the Zoho Sheet dashboard also includes a toolbar located at the bottom right side of the screen. This toolbar provides several options, such as the ability to change the appearance of the dashboard by switching between a dark or a bright screen, as well as options for providing feedback and accessing the search bar. One of the most useful features of this toolbar is the Zoho Notebook. This tool allows you to create notes in various formats, including text, to-do lists, and even the ability to upload pictures from your computer and attach files to your notes. This can be a helpful tool for keeping track of important information and ideas while working on your spreadsheets. Under the Product Switcher, the Spreadsheets section manages all of your sheets and provides easy access to your work. It is further divided into four subsections, Recents, My Spreadsheets, Shared With Me, and Favorites. The recent subsection displays all the recent spreadsheets that you have worked on. You can view these sheets in either grid or list view. This makes it easy to quickly access the spreadsheets that you have been working on most recently. The My Spreadsheets subsection displays all the spreadsheets that you have created. You can sort these spreadsheets and view them in either grid or list view. This section is particularly useful for managing your own work and staying organized. The Shared With Me subsection displays all the spreadsheets that have been shared with you by your team during collaboration. This section is useful for keeping track of the spreadsheets that you need to work on and collaborate on with your team. The Favorites subsection contains all the spreadsheets that you have starred for quick access. This section is useful for keeping track of the spreadsheets that you use most frequently and need quick access to. The Templates section allows you to access and create customized templates for your spreadsheets. By clicking on the Templates section, you can see all the templates you have created or that have been shared with you. You can create your own templates by customizing existing spreadsheets or creating new ones from scratch. These templates can then be saved and used again in the future to save time and increase productivity. The Templates section in Zoho is particularly useful for teams who need to standardize their spreadsheets or for individuals who want to create personalized templates for their own use. With this feature, you can easily access and modify your templates to fit your specific needs, saving you time and increasing efficiency. Trash allows you to delete unwanted files or spreadsheets and restore them whenever you want. When you delete a file, it is moved to the Trash section, where it remains for a certain period of time before it is permanently deleted. By clicking on the Trash section, you can see all the files or spreadsheets that you have deleted and choose to either restore or permanently delete them. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Zoho Sheet. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you! So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.